Okay, good morning to all. I'm Mr. Khan. Welcome in Mr. Khan Academy. Today I'm going to start a brand new series on my channel that is Introduction of Arduino Programming Series. Till now I covered the three series. The first one is Introduction to Mechatronics, the theory part. And again theory part, the Introduction to Electrical Actuator Systems. What are the different Electrical Actuator Systems like DC, DC motor, uh, stepper motor, AC motor, voice call actuator that I covered. And just recently I covered the third part introduction to pneumatic system what are the different pneumatic system how to create the pneumatic circuits lots of theory part i covered still some part is left no doubt i'm to i'm going to cover afterward let's start some hands on practice for that purpose i'm starting started this introduction of arduino programming series in this series i'm going to explain you basic programming of arduino and meanwhile we are going to cover some hands on practice also some projects also based on arduino programming before starting this video, I request all my viewers, please hit the subscribe button. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button to motivate me to make such video in future also. Hit the like button if you like whatever the videos I'm making. Uh, share this video with your friends also, those who need it. And do not forget to hit the subscribe my channel. If you want to visit my channel, then simply you can type on your taskbar in your browser www.youtube.com slash MR Khan Academy, Mr. Khan Academy, then continue to type MR Khan Academy and press enter. Then my channel page will be open and where you will get the various videos on these topics as well as Arduino programming also. Okay, without delay, let's start the content of this video. Uh, in this video, I'm only going to cover what is the objective of making this series, what will the outcome if you watch all my videos, and what are in brief the introduction of all the topics which I'm going to cover in this entire series. The entire series I divided into 10 parts and each the, in each and every part I am going to discuss basic programming of Arduino and some projects also. Now let's start with the objective. What is the objective of Arduino programming series? The first objective is to describe the basic functioning of standard Arduino microcontroller board. How to use the microcontroller board, the induction background of Arduino microcontroller board and various type of uh, boards that we will discuss. Uh, then Arduino programming in ID, how to write the ID, Arduino programming in the ID softwares, how to download the software, how to install the softwares, the program basic Arduino examples based on the basic programming of Arduino, it is examples we will cover and connect the Arduino microcontroller to serial terminal to understand the communication and standalone use and last confidently construct and turboshoot a microcontroller circuit for various applications. These are the objective of making my this series. What will the outcome? The learner will be able to understand the basic principle of how to communicate with the Arduino. Means how to communicate with the Arduino, how to write the code, how to burn the code, how to take the output on a, your computer screen. That will you will gain after this video. Next, understand the basic function of Arduino in processing. How the Arduino work? What are the various functions are there? How it's processed? That we will learn. And uh, next, learner will uh, learner learn how to use Arduino with practical applications. As I said, we will. We are going to cover some projects also, small small projects. Then you learn how to implement the Arduino practically. And last, learn skills of Arduino input output interface like sensors and controls that you will able to learn after watching all these 10 parts. Okay, let's start the introduction of all the parts. The first part I'm going to cover the introduction of Arduino. It's little bit theory theoretical part. It's little bit bored, but no doubt before starting the my next part, you need to watch this theory part also. After that to the part 2, I am going to start with the first project, the basic project of blinking LED. Meanwhile, it is a very simple project. If you are referring any Arduino programming, then you will find this first code, yeah, this first project is available in every each and every book of Arduino, blink of LED. In this blink of LED, we will learn how to verify the code, how to save the code, how to upload the code and common errors. After that, the part three, we will work the, with the variables. What are the different variables are there? What are the different data types are there? And what are the different operators are there that we are learning in part three with the help of RGB LED project. LED, blinking LED means single color and RGB, we can create three or more than three colors possible. Red, green and blue. Okay. In part four, making decisions. Again, we are using the RGB control with toggle switch. Here only we are creating the RGB with the help of some delay but if suppose if you want to uh, create with the help of toggle switch then we can create and meanwhile we will learn what are the comparative and logic operators 
and control statement. Comparative is nothing but we can say less than, greater than, equal to, like this operation we will learn. And logical operator is nothing but and, or, like this operation. And control statement we will learn in if, for, else, like this operators. After that, the part 5, we are learning the digital input outputs. Okay, what are the different functions are there for digital input or like digital read, digital write. Like this various function we will learn with the help of noisy cricket project. And after the state change, we, we are going to understand the state change with the help of toggle, counting and modality projects. Modality projects is nothing but suppose single input and multiple outputs. If you have multiple tasks you want to perform, then we can say the modality project. Part 6, we will learn the analog input output. Like previous case, we are dealing with the digital. Suppose I want to deal with the analog, then we need we should know what are the various analog functions are there. Control the DC motor with the help of PI sensor, ultrasonic sensor, analog serial monitor, how to take the analog value and display on a monitor and mapping the values. That we will learn in part 6. Part 7, advanced functions after that, like timing, like delay, in detail, how to execute the delay command and random function with the help of an ambient temperature software and HSB color mixer. After that, part 8 arrays and memory how to define the arrays how to take the values from the arrays and what are the different memories are available in arduino that will learn with the help of decision machine project second last part is a part 9 hardware libraries there are various libraries are li uh, available in arduino like liquid crystal library servo library stable library and sd library that will learn in delay in part 9 and last part 10 the serial and i2c serial and i2c is nothing but inter integrated circuits the serial to servo rfid reader servo time clock that we learn and with the help of serial software serial and wire library these are the various 10 parts i'm going to cover in introduction to arduino programming if you want to learn more yeah if you want to just pre-request if you want to read pre initially only before making this video you can refer this book beginning arduino programming because i'm referring the same book to create this project to understand the language and you can refer the www.arduino.cc this website also where with the various projects are available thank you for watching this video entirely please be updated with us by hitting the subscribe button you can check my previous videos that introduction to mechatronics and architecture system also and introduction to pneumatic system as i said the all these three video series are available on my this channel you can type this on your taskbar and press enter then my channel page will be available and all these videos are available thank you thank you very much please do not hit forget to hit the subscribe button hit the like button share this video with your friends also and if you have any doubt any comment any feedback please mention in comment box bye bye take care see you soon